Mimicry is an art form in processed foods, and the makers of Oreos have outdone themselves with their latest attempt to jazz up their icon, the cookie dough Oreo, just ending its two-month run. Not surprisingly, what's not in it is most of the stuff in real cookie dough. No butter, no eggs, no flour, and that's a good thing. Uncooked, both eggs and flour can be tainted by salmonella, which is why health officials urge us to not eat raw cookie dough. Instead, these Oreos have brown sugar and dark smudges called chocolate tea chips, and they have natural and artificial flavorings that appear to be simulating vanilla and molasses for a very sweet taste. Consumer reviews have been mixed, but here's the thing. The Oreos don't have to be perfect mimics to sell. Using a psychological stratagem called permission, marketing experts have learned that consumers will accept a mimicry even if it doesn't really replicate the original. Often just the smell or the name itself or a nice picture on the package brings forth those powerful memories that have us willingly trading the real thing for the simulation. Permission lets Campbell sell its new spicy chicken quesadilla soup with no visible tortilla. Kellogg's its Fruit Loops without the fruit. And Nabisco its other recent mimicry, the watermelon flavored Oreo.